So how did I get started with painting? Um, when I was a child, I went to a very odd school. So I started painting there and I, there would be these critiques and there were, you know, proper art students. And I would put my little paintings up and uh, Peter would sort of say, ah, oh, Kate, you know, nice one. <laughs> and I was critiqued like yeah. the others. How and old, how old were you? I think the first time I went, I was nine. Wow. I grew up as a young artist on those figurative artists, like well, particularly Freud. I was very into early Freud and then later Freud. I kind of followed him through his different ways of painting. And I remember reading um, that apparently almost his first words were, I want to be alone. I think that's an interesting thing for a person to want. And that was, I always wanted to be alone. I wanted to just have space. And I think the artist side of you is that you want to be alone because you want to be in touch with things that you need to be quiet for. Quite a lot of my work is about, in a way, yearning for something, uh, that there's a place you want to be that you're in some way not necessarily able to get to. It's so interesting. I always can see what I need to do. I'm, I've packed up, I'm about to turn the lights off, I'm about to leave, and then I can see what I need to do. For me, I want work that has conversations with the world. I bring my brother up every kind of few years and say, I think I'm really a painter now. And he'll say, you said that, you know, <laughs> last year. Went, no, no, I think I really am. And I, there was something that Gerhard Richter said in that thing about it's kind of good to be in a place of uncertainty, that I think once you know your shtick and you know what you're doing, I think that's a problem. So I do think I'm going to keep myself uncertain, and I do think I'm going to keep going in this very minimalistic direction, but also in this painterly direction.